Hi, this is Amy Lewis with Pop-Up Tech Talks. I'm here with Brian. Brian, can you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Brian Naylor. I'm a senior engineer, um, mostly in ONTAP. Awesome. So we were having a really interesting conversation about, I know you've done so much work in these cutting edge things around DevOps, containers, et cetera, et cetera. And you were talking about, as an engineer, how it's a little bit of a mind shift from, uh, and I would love to hear about that. How do you have to think differently to be able to work in these new spaces? Yeah, so uh, in ONTAP, um, historically, we have release cycles uh, that are measured in like 18 months uh, or more. Um, so there's a, you know, a lot of, a lot of work that goes into the, the back end on that. Um, as we're doing these open source things with the, with the containers ecosystems, we're, we're posting things directly on GitHub uh, with uh, you know, a lot of sort of more agile development processes um, right there in the open. We're not working you know, behind the, the VED. Um, and uh, so it's, you know, we're, we're putting out code in like a matter of weeks as opposed to years. And uh, that's a real different way to work. Um, and is that part of what drew you to it? And, and is that just always been where you're at? Is this all late night and pizza and glamour? We want to hear behind the scenes. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, it's uh, it's definitely a, you know a, a very different way to work, and uh, it's exciting. It's 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 fun, and it's a uh, it's a lot less process, a lot less overhead, and uh, you can really have an idea and get it out there and and see the results immediately. People start using what you're what you wrote you know a month ago, and uh, it's really really gratifying to have that happen. You know, instead of having to wait two years for the release. So. so if you're mentoring people or people are thinking about this, because a lot of people are transforming their career at all times, what, what would you pitch to somebody about how to get yourself into this place, how to, how to form these new habits? What are some of the things that you did? Uh, just becoming more aware of uh, things that are outside of sort of the traditional development bubble that you've been looking at, you know, but in, especially in ONTAP where you're writing C, you know, operating systems code. Um, that's cool, but uh, there's a lot more going on out there. You know, you start learning Go and Python and, you know, continuous integration, Docker, all these things, the orchestrators that, you know, build these new ecosystems and new platforms that people are building in the cloud, learn about AWS, uh, any of those things. There's so much to learn. And uh, it, it, it's really hot right now, so it's really fun to learn that stuff. No, I love that. And talk to me a little bit about, um, I think some people are worried, oh, all my, my years of experience are going to get thrown away. How have you found, it sounds so much for you that you've built on, built on, kind of hungry for knowledge, curiosity. Um, how would you counsel people in terms of like, but I have to learn all this new stuff versus it's building on the skills you already have? Yeah, absolutely. It's, I mean, the experience that you have is not wasted. Uh, it's, it's. Uh, it's just you know more cool stuff to put on top. It's yeah, it's just learning new things is fun and uh, yeah, it's, it's it's not. Don't be scared. Yeah, exactly. No, it's <laughs> it's great. It so, really kind of can reinvigorate what you're you know doing day to day. So you worked on the it, the Barnacle project, correct? Is around the Docker plugin? Am yes. I correct? So tell us a little more about that. Uh, so it was in Go, which was new uh, to everyone, I think. Um, so we, you know, we, we all had to learn a new language, um, new uh, ways of packaging and distributing software, and, uh, and and how it fits into the ecosystem. You know, and, and how do we publish this stuff? And how do we how do we get people? You know, how do we deal with the? You know, we still have the legal processes for for uh, approving code that we put out, but then there we have people on the outside who are contributing patches. Um, you know that we pull in and then you know push back out again, and so there was a lot of a lot of uh, kind of experimentation on, on what are what should our processes look like and how do we make it as you know less as little overhead as possible. And I think that's great counsel for other people watching from different companies, different parts of the community that um, it's important to engage your legal team, and that's a new learning process for all of it, uh, all of us, isn't it? Because it is a new way of thinking. Yeah, and I think including legal, um, it, and it, you know, the, the first time we did that, it would it took a while to to hammer out. Well, you know, is this okay? Um, and then you know, as as time went on, everyone got more comfortable with it, and people started trusting each other to not make the wrong decision, to respect IP, and. Uh, but still be able to you know work freely and say no this is this is not really that important and it's going to give us leverage you know right now and it, it's you know not that special in some cases you know. I, I think that's such a I love talking about the intellectual property aspect because I think it's something that especially in training and people coming up through Comsky programs that I know I, I can only imagine it's such a different world than it once was in terms of hold everything back versus we really are a more kind of group group project kind of experience. Yeah, and I think that everybody wants to protect IP. You know, that nobody's trying to give things away, and so it's really a matter of training about recognizing what what is IP and what's not IP, um, and you know, being aware, you know, of, of accidental ways of letting things leak, and just be, you know, being aware of that and, and, and watching out for it. 
I love it. Thank you so much, Brian. Sure. Thank you. And we'll see you next time on Pop-Up Tech Talks. <laughs>